if you want to buy an acoustic guitar you don't you can't find one um, that's gonna be really cheap it's gonna cost you some bucks because it's gotta have a, so, a solid top and solid back and side if you don't go for a solid solid wood if you go uh, go just for a uh, solid top and laminated, laminated back and side uh, it's gonna uh, in in within a year it will sound like uh, like crap. So you 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 have to if you got it brand new you have to spend um, at least uh, seven hundred bucks yeah uh, to to find a decent one a decent one because under that uh, there's nothing. Um, uh, this one is uh, pretty much my favorite. It's a uh, Nistman. They make really good guitar. It's all massive. It's got a um, Sitka spruce uh, solid top, a a grade. It's um, it has mahogany back and side, mahogany uh, neck and ebony. Fretboard. I like ebony fretboards because they sound very responsive, very articulate. And um, I'm sorry for my English. I'm French. And um, what I think is, yeah, there are not so many guitars that can compare to a Marlin or a Taylor, which are very expensive. I'm thinking of. Um, Martin D28. It's it's really uh, it's really expensive, and uh, this one plays almost like a Marlin 28, and better than the Marlin uh, cheap Martin low end Martin uh, or low end Taylor. I think of the D14, which I try, which I've tried before buying this one, and which sounded like at least. Uh, but at uh, least bass and uh, was um, it, it less this one is hand built so it sounds really great and it's gonna it's gonna sound greater in ten years so um, it's it's very strong and powerful the playability is great and uh, there's not so many guitar under uh, 1000 bucks that are great. There's the Yamaha LL16, which is under that one in terms of quality, but it's great. There's a Dibenez Artwood, uh, I think it's the top, uh, top, uh, top of the line. Uh, 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 Ibanez, uh, it's a custom Artwood series. And it's uh, maybe uh, um, fifteen hundred. Yeah, it's fifteen hundred bucks. So it's it's a little bit expensive, but it plays better than a uh, cheap Martin or cheap Taylor or cheap whatever. A cheap whatever. So uh, I'm gonna try. I'm not a guitarist, obviously, but I'm gonna try to um, to to make that thing, that thing sound.
So, um, yeah, this is. Uh, I think I should go. Uh, I, I I I've tried. I I've got a, a recording king which is in uh, the blues. The Delta blues is maybe it's a pillow, so it's better when you play blues. But this one. This one you can play whatever you want with it, and it's not expensive. In fact, uh, because it sounds so well, it sounds so well uh, that uh, and the, it's so well built that maybe uh, one thousand dollar or it's uh, uh, euro euros. It's not much. It's not that much for a, a, t a totally solid uh, acoustic guitar. You can see that it's a grade A. And though these woods they are, they are really good, they are really good guitars. I'm thinking of buying uh, a Les Paul, an electric uh, guitar from of this brand, a Les Paul, because uh, they make beautiful um, relic Les Paul. And uh, I'm thinking of buying some. Of course, it's going to be a bit difficult because I don't live in the USA, but. They, they make very really good guitars. Well, it's okay. So, sorry for playing so bad, but no, we are not all um, Robert Johnson. <laughs> Thank you for watching.